Why am I toxic? Ah, welcome back to the shark scale. Now today's video is about toxicity. Okay, no it's not. It's about a movie called Toxic Shark, and there is toxicity in it. But before we get to that, let's just look at the movie. So let's just get right into it and look at the plot of the movie. So Toxic Shark takes place on an island off the coast of Puerto Rico. On this island, a number of single people have gotten together for a tropical retreat. You're just supposed to have a good time, relax, work out, and have fun. Well, it seems that this island has some serious pollution issues. In fact, the pollution is so bad that it's even toxic, one might say. Well, that's just not good for anyone, and it seems that a shark was hanging out in all the toxic pollution, and all this toxicity has made the shark very toxic. Not only does it yell out racial slurs and ban fans from live chats, but it kills people as well. Okay, maybe it doesn't talk, but it definitely does kill people, and the shark is very toxic. Not only is it massive, but it can shoot out acid as well. But wait, it gets even more toxic. If someone is bit by the shark or gets the toxicity all over them, they also become toxic. And what is becoming toxic mean in this movie? It starts out with being just a vile human being, but eventually it's basically becoming a zombie. I'm not kidding, they start acting really toxic and just awful towards everyone and have some serious anger issues. Then it just gets to the point where they can't even make comprehensible words and just want to kill and feed on everyone else. They're really basically zombies. Well, with all this going on, it's about whatever group of characters is just left to try to get the hell away from all this toxicity and back to the wholesome days of old. The story in this movie is just absolutely over the top and wild. Like, this is easily one of the most wild shark movies I've ever seen. And it's almost the only shark movie I've ever seen with zombies in it. There is zombie shark, but it's a generally untouched territory in the shark exploitation genre. Every single scene in this movie is just wild to some extent. Whether it's the characters just being caricatures of human beings, the shark just jumping into the air shooting acid, or there is the toxic people slash zombies, it's just out of control. There is really almost a never a dull moment in this movie. Sure, at the very beginning there is a little bit of exposition as they introduce you to a few of the characters and get you acquainted with the island, but that's not even up until the halfway mark. The rest of the time, the shark is there, the people are scared, and like actual borderline zombies show up. The story just decides to throw anything close to realism out the window and the sink and goes for the craziest option available. And you know what, for that I can commend it. The movie did not have me bored at all and I found myself laughing more than anything else at how ridiculous it was getting. I actually kind of thought the characters presented in the movie were good as well. Not like enduring in any sense, but I thought they were so over the top and just such douchebags to each other that yeah, I wanted to see all of them get killed or turned into a zombie. So the movie really kept me thoroughly interested with its plot and really took some turns I did not expect. I'm never really sure what to expect from these movies at this point. My expectations are just really shattered. There really is none. But I found myself pleasantly surprised with the plot of this movie. But that's enough about the plot. I feel like we should go into uh, some more detail about the shark itself and get away from this toxicity that is uh, that. So this is a bit of a special case as I get to talk about more than just the shark as the shark does infect people and those people kill people as well. If you include that then the shark and its minions or zombies or whatever they are are actually on screen for a majority of the movie. If you don't include them and it's just the shark then it's still a decent amount. The shark obviously shows up at the beginning, a decent amount in the middle and then a ton at the end. But I will say unlike most shark movies it doesn't totally disappear in the middle, it shows up quite a bit actually. I would say more than the normal shark movie which is good. But that's just the shark. If you include its minions like I said, then really a majority of the movie, especially in the later half, it's every scene and it depends on your preferences for sure but I was more than satisfied with the shark screen time and the toxic zombies showing up as people were just dying left and right regardless speaking of dying this movie has a lot of kills in it actually much more than I expected there to be we aren't talking like maybe four or five no we're talking probably a dozen and then if you count people becoming the zombies then maybe like two even three dozen like that's a lot the shark just goes on an absolute rampage here, which is just great to see. I love seeing this big ass ugly shark show up with its toxicity and just eviscerate everyone. 
In terms of numbers, it was great, but in terms of the kills themselves, it is a bit more standard. The actual kills from the shark, I wouldn't say are anything all that unique. It was just kind of your standard affair of shark grabbing them in the water and chewing them up. There's a couple kills that involve the shark killing people on land, which is always a good sign. And I gotta say, a couple of the kills are drawn out and you see them chewing on the people. Again, nice touch. The shark does shoot out toxic as well, which I'm pretty sure kills at least one person. So yeah, that's super unique. A shark with a projectile, pretty unique. Then we go to the whole shark turning people into mindless toxic zombies, which I've already said is very rare in these shark movies. So whenever something related to zombies even shows up, I gotta give props. And this movie was just wild with that happening and I loved it. Despite some of the kills being generic and just kind of standard, I think as a whole with everything going on, in the movie it was quite good and the amount of them definitely made up for it. Now in terms of how the shark actually looks, Unfortunately, this is probably the biggest negative of the entire movie is the CGI is just very poor. It looks really outdated, especially for when it came out. It just looks really fake. It looks too low res, runs on like a track seemingly, and they try to use other special effects to hide the shark and it just doesn't work out. The shark itself looks pretty cool. It's just seeing it in motion, you're like, okay, that's just super fake and lacking in enough detail. It's very budget, obviously. The fake water splashes to hide it weren't very good either, sadly. It definitely could have been a little worse, but this was still pretty bad. Especially near the beginning, the CGI I thought was just very poor, even in the beginning. The shark just looks mad janky for the most part. It also changes sizes multiple times throughout the movie. As one scene, it's the size of the boat, the next it's bigger, and then the scene after that, it's not. It's all over the place. The CGI was inconsistent and just not very good. Speaking of not very good, we get to the acting. The acting in this movie is just terrible. There is no two ways about it. It's just bad. It's pretty rotten when it comes to the acting. Everyone is just bad. Like, equally bad. There's no one here that's good. There's no one here that's even crummy. It's just straight awful. Nobody's mediocre. Nobody's questionable. Everybody is just atrocious. Everybody, like, tries to put on the most douchebag, chad, just straight toxic personality into their acting. Which, if that was the goal, good job, but uh, it's bad. There isn't a single person in this movie that acts like a normal human being or behaves like one. Everyone is crazy over the top, and it's incredibly cheesy. The writing is like as middle school garbage as it, as it gets, really. It's like exactly what you think of when you think of a bad B movie. With all that said, it made for some decently enter enjoyable entertainment. While well, everyone was basically unacceptable when it comes to the acting, it was just sad how awful pretty much everyone was. It really let me stick around because I really, really wanted to see these dips get killed. And if that's the goal, if you really want to see them get killed, then again, mission accomplished because I wanted to see everyone die. I wanted to watch the characters get killed. I wanted to watch their world burn in front of them as awful as that sounds. Uh, maybe I'm the toxic one, but I wanted these vile human beings to die. They were all very unpleasant, repugnant, repulsive, and almost all of them are just quite sleazy as well. So seeing them all get killed, great stuff. It's really the textbook example of so bad it's good. Where you just really want to see all these horrid characters with their horrid acting skills get killed. So yeah, bad. Really bad, but entertaining. With that said, it's time to come to the conclusion on Toxic Shark. Toxic Shark is actually a lot better than one would think, and I thought it would be kind of generally boring, benign shark movie, maybe with like one or two jokes about being toxic or something. However, I, I walked away from the movie quite surprised in what I had seen. Not because it was like incredibly good or endearing or anything close to that, but because of just how insane it got, especially at the end. The movie was definitely unique, which is something that most shark movies cannot do to save their life, and for that I give it mad props. It was hilarious and so over the top that any hope of me taking it remotely serious was just gone quickly. While it does go off the rails and had me smiling a bunch, the CGI on the shark was quite poor and the acting was something else entirely. It's got its own personality and doesn't blend in with all the other sci-fi shark movies which is always good. With all that said, I can say this movie is totally worth watching with some friends, maybe some beer, okay maybe a lot of beer or weed or whatever is legal in your county but it's a good time is what I'm getting at, especially with friends. All in all, I give this movie a solid 4 out of 5 on the shark scale as it gets the rating of real tasty. I was thoroughly entertained and didn't find myself bored really at all and think that most people can find some laughter with this movie. The movie has plenty of good moments and the good heavily outweighs the bad here. 
or the bad is so bad and it's so heavy that it just becomes good at that point. Either way, maybe you should just watch the movie. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay safe out there, everyone. Um, Black Lives Matter and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that good stuff. See ya. Why am I toxic?